Hello everyone, Guy in the Shell here. So we are going to solve the PyJail challenge of the Offshift CTF. So this is a Python uh, challenge. Uh, you have a server to hack and you are given the source code. So let's first take a look at the source code. So it's basically some kind of a simple firewall. So there is a list of banned keywords here and uh, it's it's asking you for some inputs it's checking them against the keyword and if any of the keyword is there it will uh, exit and if not it will do an exec so you just have to find some code that can be executed without the those keywords there is something a bit weird though so the this challenge actually changed uh during the the event because they they found some uh, some uh, bugs with it and the new challenge, I think there might be a typo in it, I'm not sure, but in any case, it's easier. And But I did it in an odd way in this new version. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna first show you the easiest way I found, then I'm gonna explain what I did for the original version of the challenge, which I think was slightly more interesting. And then I will show you briefly what I actually did my rather more convoluted solution to this problem. Um, we are also going to run this problem in uh, local. The servers have been a bit, uh, yeah, not always super stable. So I'm not going to try and uh, use them while I'm recording and while other people are playing. So, um, yeah, so last thing. So we are executing, we need to in inject something, but also there is something interesting. They are overriding globals, the method globals, with the value of the globals method call, which is a dict. They're overriding built-ins, so we don't have access to any built-ins. And because we don't have access to any built-ins, we would not have access to print, but they are restoring print, so print is print. Mm, so th that's a bit weird. This thing in particular is a bit weird. I'm wondering if those parentheses should be there. But anyway, that's what they gave us. So let's uh, just run it. So we can do jailbreak, and it's asking us for uh, an input. So what can we inject? Well, a, so a strategy would be to try and get rid of the uh, blacklist. And the blacklist is in a variable that is called band and that is at the top level of the module. So it's basically a global. And they are giving us globals here. So maybe if it's all working by reference, I can say that globals of band is equal to some string it's supposed to be a, a string of tokens so let's put some tokens that we'll never encounter and i think now my kind of firewall is disabled i have a problem though is that i don't have built-ins so i cannot do any import i would like to import os for example but there is a way around that so and it's the fact that the the built-ins are also in globals so actually, so let's print the result and let's print the result of globals of built-ins. That will not work if my firewall is still active, but I think I did deactivate it. And then I can do import of OS. And then I can do system ls. And I close my parentheses and look at that. It works. It just threw me away, but that's okay. I did deactivate the firewall, so now I can uh, just do the same thing, but with a cat. Cat flag.txt and the second parenthesis. And it works. If I was on the server, I would have found the right flag. So, yeah, that was interesting. So the original problem was slightly different. They did not override the globals that they were giving you and so you had to play a bit with scope and so to deactivate um to deactivate globals you actually had to do something like that you had to say that your that you in your execution context the variable that you would name glo uh, band would not be a local new band it would be the global band and then you could uh, say that band was equal to something like that which was i think a slightly more interesting because this is very straightforward here to just deactivate it like that. But anyway, I'm going to show you the hard version that I used. 
So with a bit of gymnastic, I can retrieve the getAt function. I can retrieve the OS import. I will store it in a variable. That's going to be easier. And finally, I can basically print the call to the system function. I cannot use systems, but I can use sys, sys plus stem from the OS. And then I can call it with cat like that. And that works too. So this was my complicated uh, way of not disabling the firewall and using string construction and things like get at to, um, to use strings to find functions basically rather than the typical dot notation. Okay, so it ended up being rather easy in the end, I think. So that's it. Bye-bye.